it's no fun when our kids are sick, but we may just have found the silver lining. Apple and raspberry and orange flavoured electrolyte slushies made by Rehydrate. Rehydrate slushies are a tasty way to get essential electrolytes into our little ones when they're dehydrated from sickness or even just the Aussie heat. They're delicious and they'll help your little ones feel better in no time. Grab Rehydrate from Coles today. This is the Happy Families Podcast with Dr. Justin Coulson. We are Luke and Susie, and this is the podcast for time-poor parents who just want answers now. I've been become increasingly aware. We recently had a family holiday, mm-hmm. and I've become increasingly aware of how seldom we actually have really quality all family together time. Yeah. And and it's it's made me think that maybe we need to talk about this with our parenting expert. We might need to kick up the butt, <laughs> or we might just need to get our head around how do we manage. Yep. Quality time together or because perhaps, it's limited. I'm, I'm so aware of how limited it is. I guess the other the other flip side to the question is: Are you over emphasizing? Like, how important well, is some of this too. time? Is there is there too much pressure in your head about these little moments? And how much does it matter? Dr. Justin Coulson, you have all the answers when it comes to mm. getting our head around quality mm. in the family home. Yeah, I'm no, hoping- no pressure at all. <laughs> <laughs> all the answers, right all the here. Answers. Yeah. Well, the good news is because even if you don't, you say it with confidence, and it sounds like you do. So that's excellent. <laughs> What can you tell us about the importance of this time? Because I'm, I feel really aware of the fact yeah. that it's limited. Well, it is. Uh, if you do the maths, from the time that your child is born until the time your child turns eighteen, there's fifty-two Saturdays in a year, mm. eighteen years until they're you know an adult, and and, and they're gone. You know, you're not going to be able to tie them down on Saturdays anymore. Uh, Nine hundred and thirty-six Saturdays is all you've got. <sighs> yeah. And even then, uh, let's just look at a Saturday because you take away Saturdays don't really mean much. Until they're at school, and like as in, because every day is. Oh is no, a, you can make Saturdays. Count. Saturdays are even better before school. Really? Oh yeah. Because because yeah. to a, to a kid who doesn't go to school, then how is Saturday different from Wednesday? Well, well, yeah, I understand that point. Yeah, yeah. although a lot of kids are in uh, in some form of care yes, because yes, fair you know, point. The, the, fair our, point. our society is so busy and yep. and we're so reliant on economic uh, drivers to you know, mum and dad have both got yep. to be working or both parents, both caregivers, or lots of single parents yep. who don't have that flexibility anyway. So children are in care, but nine hundred and thirty six Saturdays. I, I think that we've got to bear in mind that a lot of the time the kids are going to be involved in some sort of Saturday sport. So there goes part yep. of your Saturday, um, and then of course once they turn. 14, 15, mm. 16, they go and get a job. So there yep. goes those Saturdays. And, and kids, other kids' birthday parties. And oh, yeah. Things like that. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Over, like potentially three or four in one Saturday. Mm. Right. And I am saying Saturday. Of course, we've got weekends. So we've got yeah. 936 weekends. But uh, you know, weekends are complicated, I guess, is what I'm saying. Mm. This is what we've done in our family to 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 deal with it. We, we feel the same way you do, Susie. Uh, Kylie and I have sort of thought we want our children to – have um, have a childhood that that is memorable. Mm. Um, we want them to have experiences that are going to build memories and build a resilience foundation for them. Yeah. And, and when you think about it, like when you think about your favourite times with your family, how often do you say, oh, that, that Saturday morning where we all sat in the lounge room and <laughs> played Candy Crush and, you know, stared yeah. at our phones and, and watched YouTube – that was the best. That, <laughs> the I think best. we need to do more of those Saturdays. I mean, nobody ever says that. No. But people talk about, oh, remember that time where we actually got ourselves out of bed? We, we, everyone complained about it, but we got ourselves out of bed and we went to that nearby mountain and we climbed to the top of it and we took some drinks and some stuff, but we forgot to take this and we got rained on and there was yeah. a lot of, you know, and, yes. and everyone remembers that one forever. Yes, that's true. And, and we have these memories that, you know, it's, it's actually going out and doing stuff that, yeah. that creates it. So mm. to, to get back to your initial question, I think that we've got to be really intentional yeah. about how we spend our time. I think in our society generally, too many of us, we're so busy that when we don't have to be busy, we stop all intention and we mm. just park it in front of the couch and we watch something stupid like MasterChef or My Kitchen Rules or one of those, you know, wifey, bachelory, <laughs> let's, let's swap spouses or partners or whatever. And, and we just get into this ridiculous situation where we, we we don't think at all. We just go vegetative mm. and our children miss out and, and we miss out. Our families miss out. Yep. Mm. So as a family, we've decided to do Super Saturdays. Uh, we've been doing it for a few years now and every Saturday morning, 
Not everybody can attend. I, I need to make it clear. Sometimes because we've got six kids across three decades, so it's really hard to get six children to always be available. But we get we get the whole family together and we say, this Saturday we're going to go and do this. Mm. And early in the morning we all wake up and we head out and we do that thing for at least two or three or four hours. Sometimes it's the whole day, sometimes it's half the day, sometimes it's a few hours. We make sure it's low cost or no cost and we, we build memories. We take photos and we... We, we rejuvenate our family. I love that. So l- the Super Saturday thing, I can, I can get my head around it. I love it. How, how much, though, the difference between recreating a new thing all the time versus, say, for example, um, you know, going to, to the footy to follow a team, with the, with, and it's, a, it's the same sort of thing, but you make a commitment to, to the kids. Like, how important is it for it to be different versus consistent? Oh, you, I think that you just let your family do what the family f- feels inclined to do. I was talking to my dad about his favorite memories um, uh, from, from growing up when he was a kid, and he actually said precisely what you just identified. He, he said, I remember every weekend my family would follow our favorite football team from one ground to another, and we'd watch them play. We loved home games, obviously, but we went everywhere. across. They were in Sydney. He was a follower of the, the Western Suburbs Magpies mm. rugby league team, and they went all over Sydney watching the team every week weekend through through the the cold months that was their family routine that's what they did on the weekend and he said some of the best memories just going to the footy with my parents or going fishing with my dad so there was not a lot of variety in what they did and it was low cost you can't go to the footy for low cost anymore i read an article in the paper recently that said that to go and watch a game of afl in melbourne now costs 87 bucks a pop Um, that's, that's that's if you're buying the food from the venue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, not a yeah. cheap ad. And now, that's just one hot dog. That, that's <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, and, and, and I don't know if that's what all the tickets cost, yeah. but, but, but you know, you can do low cost and no cost things. I'll give you a couple of examples. The very first Super Saturday that we did, we packed the kids into the car and we went to, we were in the Illawarra uh, around Wollongong and there's this climb called Sublime Point. So we parked at the bottom, we saw the sign that said, no children allowed. <laughs> because it's too dangerous for the kids. And the kids were like, we're doing it. Like, All right, well, let's go. So we went up there and there was leeches and it was pouring with rain and we had to go up these crazy ladders and inclines and we got to the top so that we could enjoy these beautiful views across the Illawarra and visibility was about five metres. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to the bottom and got back in the car and we were all dripping wet and there was blood spots on people's legs from the leeches and, and we said, oh, kids, how was that? And they were like, that was awesome! The best, the best five-metre view best, they've ever had. That was great. Right? And, you know, sometimes we just go to the beach. We go to the same beach and we play in those rock pools and we do that same thing. And other yeah. times we, we go to the park and we just throw the frisbee around or we go for that bike ride that we've done a hundred times. Yeah. But the point is we do Super Saturday. And a couple of times a month we try and find something a bit different and we do that and the kids relish it. They, yeah. they just look forward to it and we build memories and relationships with our families. Mm. doesn't have to be Saturday. It's just got to be super. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I'm sure there's lots of different benefits that, and you can, you can probably create a list on them, but what do you think is the most important benefit? That the kids know that you are prioritising them above anything else or is it the experience and the memory specific or or what is it that makes the this idea and these sorts of memories so important there's a handful of things the first thing i would say is this this old it's it's almost trite it's almost cheesy this quote that says to a child love is spelled t i m e mm. and i think more than anything that's what it does it says we love you we care about you we're investing in you you matter uh, n- number one. N- uh, but there's a handful of other things as well, you know, and it's great to be outside. Nature is fuel for the soul, mm. right? And, and, and how much better is it to go for a, a hike up the local hill or go play in the local lake or at the local beach or go for a bike ride than sit there and stare at a TV and say, oh, that was really nice family mm-hmm. time. I'm not bagging, you know, sometimes it's nice to sit down with a pizza and a movie on a Friday night and just watch a fun movie together. That's great too. But you don't want that to make up the bulk of your family time. Mm-hmm. We live in we live in communities where so many of us now, you know, we live on our 400 square metre block or our 500 square yeah. metre block. There's nowhere for the kids to go and nothing for the kids to do unless we become intentional and proactive about it. Mm-hmm. And so it gets the kids outside and it gets them moving. We get to have these shared experiences which build memories, which strengthen relationships. And and like I said, I, I, for me, it all goes back to this idea that the kids know that they matter. Yeah. Beautiful. I love everything about that. Super Saturdays. Luke, are you with me? Uh, yes. 
Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that was a scared it's commitment. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening for the whole. It's Dr. Justin Coulson. Thanks so much for your time. Pleasure. For more info and all of Justin's books, podcasts and programs, you can jump online to happyfamilies.com.au. And to find out how to have Justin speak at your school or you can come along to your organisation as well, go to justincoulson.com.au.